Hi everybody, welcome to a geometry lesson. Today we're going to be looking at classifying triangles. And what we're gonna do is we are going to classify them according to the length of their sides. So let's start with this triangle here. So let's take a look at our black triangle right here. This triangle has three sides that are all the same length. I'm gonna show you that. So you see this one is the same, and this one is the same. So all three of these sides of the triangle are the same length. And we call that kind of triangle an equilateral triangle. See the word equal in it? You hear the word equal? Equilateral triangle means a triangle whose sides are all three the same length, okay? Now this one here, it's made up of two red geometry sticks on the sides here, and these are exactly the same length. And then it's made of one orange stick, which is shorter than the red. So it has two sides that are the same and one side that's different. A triangle that has two sides that are the same length and one different is called an isosceles triangle. Now this triangle, as you can see, is made up of three different sticks, all different colors. We have a brown stick, a green stick, and a red stick. These are all different lengths. A triangle whose sides are all different in length is called a scalene triangle. So what I want you to do is I want you to go around your house and find different things that are triangular that you can either trace and then measure using a ruler, or you can just go ahead and use a ruler or a tape measure to measure any kind of triangle in your house. And I want you to classify those triangles as either scaling, three sides that are different lengths, isosceles, two sides that are the same, or equilateral triangles, which are all three sides are the same length. And then what I want you to do is I want you to take some pictures of it and post a Flipgrid video of your collection. Another thing you can do is you can try to make a piece of artwork putting all sorts of triangles together and then coloring them in or make designs in them. You can make them out of sticks like this. If you have popsicle sticks or other things like that at home, you can draw it and color it in or paint it. You can even go out into the world and see if you can find some actual sticks out in nature that you can make into triangles. That might be pretty cool too. Okay, my friends, thanks so much for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed this short lesson, short and sweet. Thanks.